We're, we're back. back. Oh my goodness. I am Mina Mercury. And I'm Miss Gloria Hole. And you're watching Talk Talk. Cheers. Well, tell us, what do you think of season 13 already? Mina, tell me, how are you feeling? I am so excited for this uh, season 13. It's so crazy. You know, I am hoping, and so far, there's been some ups, there's been some downs, uh, but so far, you know, the ones that are bringing it, they're really bringing it. And I'm super excited to see what the other, what everybody is going to bring to the plate. It started out so freaky, though. You know, I totally, I totally agree. I, you know, I was thinking to myself, okay, what's going to happen? We're on season 13. Is it going to be the same format? Is it going to be boring? Like, how is RuPaul going to make this exciting? And then, OMG. What is with this format? I feel like it's exciting. I'm super excited. I'm so glad they're doing it. But it, don't you think that it's like they've taken all stars and the normal drag race season and mixed it together? Oh, yes. It's, it's, it's definitely uh, got the all stars feel from uh, them having, from the, the pork chop gang having to vote like vote somebody off so all stars and then you know up until this point nobody's been sent home it's crazy and the other thing that's similar to all stars at least so far now we're up to episode three um is that it's about the two winners who lip sync to be the winner so it's no longer at this point. I think next episode that will change. But it's not about the loser at this point. Everyone's no. a winner, honey. Exactly. All the losers are winners. And I like <laughs> that format. I like that I format. agree. But it can't last forever. We have to send some of these queens home. Well, they did say at the end of the last episode that heads will roll. This is what I found to be really interesting is how many of the girls when they do their entrance looks how many of them plan that outfit to be something that they're gonna have to perform in rather than just walk in but i saw none of them like that is <laughs> first of all i mean i think none of the opening looks were wowzers which I think is really disappointing. But two, I mean, no. I mean, who thinks that you're going to be going and performing right away? I think that was a bit cruel from RuPaul's side. You know, when back in the days, and Canada's Drag Race did it, where they had to do that photo shoot on top of a mountain with the wind machine blowing at them. So you got to be prepared because you don't know what you're going to have to do. Well, if you had to do it on your hands and knees, honey, you'd make it right to the top. <laughs> That's my kind of show. I, I hear your knees are well calloused. <laughs> That's right. There's nothing too slippery for these knees. You know, let me just fix my hair. I got kind of like a one that's kind of going crazy here. Glue gun. I need a glue gun. Have you got it? Honey, you got a loose pool noodle. That's right. <laughs> Throw me back in the water. I'll be fine. Oh my goodness. You know, we're we're able to bring this hilarious show to anyone and everyone around the world because of our sponsors. And I think this is a great time to really thank our sponsor for this episode, Sourpuss. 
Now listen, it might be dry January, but January's gonna end soon. To create your own Sour Sparkle, you need a delicious bottle of Sourpuss Raspberry. And a great big delicious pop it bottle of Prosecco. And lastly, mmm, raspberries. Alrighty, folks, you know what time it is? It is time for Oot or a Boot! Yes, <laughs> so being a uh, little queens of the north that we all are up here in Canada, we decided to change two or boot to oot or a boot. Of course. You'll get it. You'll get Why would we? <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is normally we would go through the entire runways and all the cast, but what we've decided to do for you today is a special oot or a boot. So we're going to do a set of oot or a boots for episode two and a set of oot or a boots for episode three. Okay. Are we ready to go, girl? Oh my gosh, let's do it. This is my I favorite know part. You, you love this. You love giving boots. I love giving a little boot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Giving a boot is your favorite thing. I know. You told okay, me. it's not my favorite, but I'm just not shy when it comes to giving the truth and my opinions. Exactly. Okay, so let's do it. We have three oots for episode <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, so go ahead, Gloria, tell me, what are your top three oops? Well, listen, I, I have to say that I wasn't overly excited with all of them. <laughs> but there were three that really stood out that I really liked. I think that right off the bat, the first thing that came to mind was Gottnick. Hands down something to watch. This fascinates me. This gives me yeah. a tingle between my lady bits and my butthole, also known as the taint. This is exciting to me. Uh, Tina Burner. I mean, it was a lot of yellow and a lot of red. I thought, girl, you gotta tone that down. But I liked it. I liked what she was bringing. And she's dirty. I know she's into some, some stuff because there was a lot of PVC and such, but I liked it. I liked it. I'm watching Tina Burner. And then the third one, which I think is the top, would be Elliot with two T's. Uh, I think there were some looks there that I really quite liked. I thought you could see that there was some fashionista with her. Those are my top three. What do you think? Oh, okay. So. <sighs> My top three, and this is crazy, girl. This is crazy because you know what? Our top three, our top three oots are the same. What? We they never are agree the on same. anything. I know, but okay. Can we just talk about Elliot with two T's and that uh, the dark outfit? What about the dark outfit? Oh my God, it was the most incredible thing that I have seen on a runway in a while. The why, hat, why? the top me, hat why? with feathers, the like, oh, it was... But that's what I'm saying. Like there were some looks where I thought, ooh, girl. But this was one of those looks where I thought, okay, you have an eye. I like this. But I have to say, oh, I really enjoy Got Mick. Got Mick yes. is probably one of my more favorite. I love everything that he's doing so far. I love 100%. It. Oh, incredible. And Tina Burner, girl, she's going far. She's going far. 
I love her. Okay, so that was it. You have it. That was fast. Our top three oots for episode two. So far, we have Elliot with two T's. We have Got Mick, and we have Tina Burner. You know, it's like oh. your sex life. It's fast. <laughs> okay, so with all our oots, we have to have some boots. So of our course. top three boots. Go ahead. What are your top three boots? You gotta have your yang with your ying. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait. So these were my bottom threes. And I love bottoms. So these are my bottom threes. You ready, honey? I'm ready. Bring it on. Candy Muse. For sure. Bottom, 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 bottom. I'm sorry, honey. I think you can do better. Uh, Olivia. I think you can do better. And uh, Simone. I don't know. There's just nothing there. I felt like it was safe and I want to see more. So those were my bottom three. I'll move. I'll oh move. my move. God. Stop right now because those are my three. What? <laughs> you know what? For people watching, we never agree. So this we don't. is a Christmas miracle. We never agree. This is insane. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah. You must have COVID. My three boots. We're Candy Muse because I don't know. I totally, I expected more from her. But you know what? I, really did. I was expecting Michelle Visage to read her, and she didn't. Mm -hmm. I know. I expected her to read quite a few people so far, and she hasn't. So Fancy. she is. She's. But I think it's coming. I think it's yeah. sooner or later. The Liz just gonna blow off the pot, and she's just gonna go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I, um, um, again, Olivia. Okay, so I love uh, Olivia Love. So I love Olivia. I do. I love the smile, the charisma. Yeah. Like, she's incredible. But totally. there's something there that I just, I hope she, like, pushes through. It feels like there's a door that she just needs to kick open. And yeah. then, wow, you know what I mean? <laughs> Totally. Yeah, I think it's jitters. I, I think it's the, like, first couple episode jitters. Maybe. Because it was such a rough start. Like, it's really crazy. Totally. Like, um, but this is the group that won. Mm. So she should Don't be know. thinking, ooh, I'm doing good. Right? Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. And also Simone as well. I put Simone. I love the boxing look. But that's yeah. the only look that I love so far that is more than just like skin and a skimpy little outfit. <laughs> you no, know what? This is just so weird though. It's like I listen and RuPaul and Michelle, everyone's saying, oh, she's got it. She's got it. But it doesn't translate to me as a viewer watching on TV. I just don't see it yet. And now it's time to look at episode three. Oot and a boot on those looks. Are you with me, Mina? Are you with I, me? I am with you, honey. This is going to be so good. Let's see if this time we agree. <laughs> I hope not. I don't like agreeing with you. It's like agreeing with the devil. So tell us. <laughs> What are your three oots? Well, funny you should ask. I've got my list right here. Put your glasses okay. on. I didn't wear my glasses today. Well, how are you going to read it? I've got my contacts in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my top three picks. Yes. For episode three. Yeah. For Oots is Utica, Rose, and Tamisha. <laughs> Tell me, dear, what are your top three Oots? Well, first of all, I want to address the elephant in the room. You, you know, you Mercury. Want to talk about you? Um, <laughs> 
I, you know, when we talk about uh, older queens, I mean, I think it is something that over the years of Drag Race, we haven't seen, you know, older veteran queens. And there's a lot out there. Drag didn't just start. <laughs> it's been going on for a very long time. So when we find out in this episode that it's Tamisha, right? Yeah. Tamisha is 49 years old. That girl been around the block and then some. I thought of and you. And she has of you. biological kids who yes. are older than the kids on the show. <laughs> <laughs> that must be such a weird feeling. Now, my top three picks. Are you ready? Yes, let's hear it. Roll. Add that in. You're not going to believe this, but Utica. I know, now, right? Now, listen, you know, and people who've watched previous Tuck Talks, I'm kind of iffy when it comes to the comedy queens or the very out there queens. I'm kind of like, ooh, I don't know. Is that sellable? Is that whatever? But Utica fascinates me. She weird. She different. And I like her. And I think she, I love her looks. Her looks were stunning. Uh, the other one I had was Rosé. Mm -hmm. I'm totally on the same page with you. Rosé fascinates me. She's gorgeous in drag and out of drag. <gasps> and my third choice, you might be shocked by this or not, is Denali. I really, really liked Denali. Wow. Okay. So we almost had the same except for Denali. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I'll drink to that. But I actually, I'll drink my rosé to rosé. In your rosé. <laughs> okay, so those were our picks for the top three. Of course, Mina, you were totally off, but not totally. I mean, you had two out of but three, one. so <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> but now we get to the good stuff. You gotta have yeah. your tops and you gotta have your bottoms. The thing is, too, about this is that there's only six. <laughs> so we could only have three, three and three. So the, the rest have to be in there because we like to get a bunch of jobs. <laughs> and that was your episode three, Tops and Bottoms. That was fun. I love it. I know, I love it. It's so good. I love a little oot boots. Our oot boots and, boot. and boots. It's fun. I mean, you know, we're not like trying to like rip them down or anything. We're just, you know, you. We got, you just we got opinions. Famous. We got opinions. <laughs> Everybody's a winner though, baby. Everybody. Everyone's a winner, honey. You know, they made it that far. They made it on the show. They all are winners. <laughs> That's it. But, you know, you have to admit, nobody wants to be the first one to be kicked off. No. Not at all. Although, enough. do you remember the second person who's been kicked off? Oh, my God, girl, what's that over there? What? Back on your left. What's over there? What's over there? <laughs> All right, so moving on from our boots and boots, what do we talk about? You know, we're ranking here. We're saying, you know, who are top threes, who are bottom threes. Well, tell me, Gloria, who do you think is a more entertaining uh, or, you know, enjoyable team? We have the winners. Team winners or team pork chop? What do you think? Oh my Tell god! Think. Hashtag team pork chop, one hundred percent. I'm really? so glad. All oh, hundred percent. I'm so glad none of them went because team pork chop is my team. What about you? Uh, I'm gonna have to. 
This pains me, bitch. Pains me, but I agree with you. <gasps> I do agree with you. Um, yeah. I do. I think that they are, there's something about each of them that is like a different, I don't know if it's because they all thought they were going to be kicked off, but now they're excited that they're not. And they're like, Ooh! but they're bringing it and they just, yeah. they're way more entertaining. Um, there's, I agree. Some people in the first group that I just am not enjoying watching. I would, I just, I love everybody in that, in that pork chop group. Or they're just so funny. Like, they're so good. Well, you, I love them. I think they're great. You, but yeah, well, you bring up a really good point in that those who won probably are kind of riding this safe wave where those who lost are just excited that they are going home. <laughs> and so that's a really good motivator to get your butt in gear. I totally agree. Oh, I think so. I think that's why they're actually entertaining. I feel like they, they're just, they're so excited that they haven't been kicked off that yeah. they've had that taste, you know? They've had that taste where this is the end, you're done, you're yeah. packing up, next bus out of here. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. And so they know that they don't want to get there again. Yeah. They don't want that feeling again. And I think that that is actually a plus for them. And I feel like some of the, a lot of the team, uh, pork chop will go far. Amen, sister. Well said. I mm -hmm. totally agree. I totally agree. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Miss Gloria Hall, who do you see as your top four? Top four? Top four that will go all the way. This is so hard because so obviously we're in episode three. And the mm -hmm. first episode didn't count. So, but, um, but we've seen a lot of what they can do. We've seen them sing. We've seen yeah. them dance. We've seen the fashion. We've met them. What do you think? I don't like the way you're talking to me. Period. So, uh, top four. I will say, uh, uh, Got Mick. Mm -hmm. Utica. Um... Uh, don't pressure me. Don't pressure me. Uh, Tina Burner. And one more. Oh. I have no idea. Simone. I'm going to say Simone. Because she seems to be a judge favorite. So those are my top four. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so I have my top four. Um, I definitely think Got Mix. 100% yes. Got Mix. Absolutely. All the way. I almost want to say I think Got Mix will win, but... I oh, will Simmer. Simmer. Um, Simmer. I definitely think uh, Tina Burner. Absolutely. Yeah. She's got it. She's got it, got it, got it, got it. She's going. Um, I also think... I think, I honestly think, that Rosé could actually do it. She's For got sure a lot under her belt. She does. For sure top. And I think there's, yeah. there's more Very to talented. come, too. Yeah. Um, and my next would kind of be a... Mm, I would really like to... What is, that's three, right? That was three, three, honey. One, two, three. Four. Utica. I would really yes. love to see Utica. I would really love it. I kind of get this, like, uh, a bit of um, Crystal Method vibe. Where I think oh, she's really? going to go far. Yeah, yeah I think her Crystal Method is going to take her far. You know, but you know who she reminds me of? It's not Crystal Method. It's, what's Thor that? Um, Thor. Drake. Yeah, Thor G. Thor. Thor G. Yeah. Thor. 100%. Yeah. Total, totally, totally, totally. Okay, then. So that is our coverage of episodes one, two, three of Drag Race. And you've been watching Tuck Talk with your gorgeous hosts, Mina Mercury and Miss Gloria Hall. 
So until next time, we will see you very soon. Take care. Be safe. We love you. Wash your damn hands.